Kolonsova, Hamidova, Petrova, Kudinova, Mikhailsova, Kukina and Kazakova, the Russian starting team. Kukina standing underneath this one, but she's let that one go for the head. First touch for Hamidova to stretch those long legs over the halfway line. Hamidova, the cover come across from Santini. It's a complete mismatch in size. She stood her up. She stepped off the right. And that's the first try of the game, and it's taken 25 seconds, Mel. I think Santini looked up and went, oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and of course, you wouldn't blame her, would you? It was a fantastic swerve too in the end by Hamadova. And she really is speedy, tall, athletic, in, out, flat-footed Santini. Wonderful. First touch for Hamidova, try on the board. Easy as you like. Conversion attempt. Pushed it left and wide, so five points to nil, but... Brazil, that's a, a little sample. In, out, shake it all about. Off you go. Good luck and good night. This has been day one of Dubai. has been a tournament surprises, hasn't it, so far? Well, it just sets things up brilliantly for tomorrow with the quarterfinals, semi-finals, because it's very difficult to pick a winner now. I mean, New Zealand have been so dominant over the last few years. Australia, obviously, last season with some fantastic results, but... Any one of five or six teams now in with a decent shout on this one as Russia on the attack again through Mikhail Tsova. Already with a few tries to her name today. This is Kazakova running across the pitch trying to create some space out wide. Hamidova picks it up, little chip and chase for her. If this one sits up for her, I think it's too much on it. The bounce might just deny her. Regardless, Santini was there just to see it out over the dead ball line. One thing I admire about Russia is that everything is about going forward. So, you know, even if they're under pressure, they don't really put it back into the pocket, look around and reset. They're just constantly on the move. As Baranovsky looks on, he's got to be happy with the start they've made. Scrum all the way back. You can't kick the ball over the dead ball line like that. And Brazil will get a chance to try and launch something from inside their own 22. They do have Bianca Silva, of course, the 17-year-old, scored a try in the first game. But, you know, it's probably the wise decision if you're Chris Neal to ease her into this series. She's still very, very young physically. You know, a lot of work required over the next couple of years to get up to this kind of standard. But she's getting great experience here. And I'm sure we will see her introduced off the bench at some stage chance for Russia through Santini it'll show from her Kokina that was very high got to be careful with those tackles she could almost run into anybody and that'd be a high tackle on that her. is true <laughs> it's a little bit unfair I suppose to, to judge it on that standard little show and hit the deck there from Luisa Campos Santini once more again lost her footing Russia in to try and rip that ball it's a little bit slow coming back for Brazil again was that knock forward it was. Referee right on the spot and Carrillo just the hands letting her down there. Yeah, bit of a shame because it looked like Brazil was going to win the fight there and yeah, just a little fumble at the end. Coach getting told off, stand behind the line please. I could watch him all day to be honest with you. <laughs> His passion for the game is brilliant. I'm sure not nice to be on the receiving end but Kukina Ships one across as far as Kazakova. It'll step back inside from Mikhail Sova. Brazil just having to leave it. A little bit of contestant at the back of the rook. Kokina again, any room down that blind side. Little step and the handoff as well. Still going. Tackled eventually. Needs a bit of help. Slow to get it back. But Brazil illegal, not releasing the tackler, which he must do. Quick tap and go. Russia wastes no time getting on with it. Taking this time, Petrova. Nice pass. Hamidova screaming for it out wide. She might still get it. She has got it. Got two to beat, though, but they won't catch her. Stretches the long legs. Hand off. And touchdown in the corner. Try number two for Russia. Try number two for Hamidova. And she's just so difficult from there. Moving the ball nicely, aren't they, Russia? And then when it does break down, they're able to recover. Assess who's free look at where the defensive and then get the ball out most of the time they're going wide to wide very quick passes 
but it's working for them because they're doing it at such great pace. To think that they're not qualified for the Olympics yet. I know. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, and obviously France annoying them last time out. Kudanova with the conversion attempt is short. And they are the team to beat, you feel, in the last qualifying stage. I mean, if they can keep this kind of form going. Obviously, from their point of view, they would have liked to secure by now, concentrate on this series and their build-up to Rio, but they have to make sure of that place. And they might have one eye on that qualification tournament coming up. As Brazil get on with it, Romayo. That one was high. Romayo once more. Long looping pass. You can see that Kukina had broken the line there to come up and put pressure on. And Brazil going off their feet at the back of the ruck, which you're not allowed to do. Russia get another chance to go. One minute left at the end of this first half. Is there a chance for Kazakova? Nice footwork from her. Needs a little board on the inside. Lovely pass as well. And Mikhail Sova crashes over the line. Third try for Russia. Yep, this is their signature play. Lots of numbers, plenty of support. Just keep the ball moving. Kazakova. They all look like Jack Rabbits. They're all sort of sprung with a whole lot of energy. A good finisher, Mikholtseva, she's been so far. That's her fifth try of the tournament. It's an impressive strike weight, right? More than Portia Woodman from New Zealand. We didn't think we'd see that today. Yeah, that's saying something. And his story of the day really summed up in that one conversion attempt, as you can see, is wide from Kudinova. And Brazil. One last chance before the half-time whistle to try and get something on the board. But it's been dominant from Russia so far. Kukina will get us underway. That's probably the worst kick we've seen so far. <laughs> She's like, I need, I need an orange, I need some power out. <laughs> so Brazil will get it all the way back on the halfway line. They're so deep, Brazil. I mean, Santini's on her own in the halfway line. There was 10 metres between her and the nearest player. They've obviously rehearsed one of these moves, but you just the value in taking the ball flat and, and making as much territory as you can while you can. Romayo hauled to the ground. Again, look at the pressure that Russia put on Brazil at the breakdown. Nothing easy for the Brazilians in terms of possession at the moment. Taken up this time by Estevez in the scrum cap for Brazil. Can they finish here with a try and close that gap before half time and the swing and the miss there from Santini see what she was trying to do but the ball just popped up over her leg Brazil get the penalty and they will have another chance quick tap and go from Santini she's got to be watched here going alone she's got support inside and out wants a switch runner here needs a switch runner but no nobody on her wavelength Estevez just ran a pointless line outside her because she was going into touch why did she not come back inside I think if you've got a fantastic runner like Santini and you're one of her teammates, you have to anticipate she's going to do the quick taps like that. She's always going to make metres, so run off her, be available. If she's running across like that, come on the cutback. Russia with possession. Can they punish Brazil for that mistake? Kukina, tackled from behind, holding her ground and then happy to set up for the teammates and have a go from inside the 22. You wouldn't bet against them as well. Kazakova, no room for her. Strong hand to fend off two Brazilian tacklers. Eventually she goes down. Slow coming back to take that one over her head. Kudanova. Voronsova out to Hamidova. Hamidova stretching the legs. Is she going to go the whole way? She's going to have to. She knows she has the pace to beat Santini, who's flat out and exhausted. And that's another one for Hamidova. She started things off with a try inside 25 seconds. She's got another one right at the death of the first half. Underneath the posts. And when she's in this kind of form, she's just so difficult to stop. A master move from Pavel Baranovsky to start this lady in this match. The third game in. 
He knew that his team needed some fresh legs. She has put it out there and more, a hat-trick for her. And yeah, it looks like she's not doing much to get the try, but she is. Just her running style with those long legs, she is really going great knots an hour. So the conversion is good, and the star of the show has undoubtedly been the Russian number five, Kamidova. Half time. We have the Australians, of course, still to play England, two from two. It's all setting up very nicely for an action packed day tomorrow and the quarterfinals. Coquina with the restart. A little bit deep on that one. Gives Brazil time to try and set an attack. And this is the substitute, Mulbauer. First touch for her. Pass off the deck there from Carulio. Strong one from Estevez. Cross pitch. Looks for Santini. Stretches those little legs. But I tell you, she is quick. And a nice line. And the angle of running there is from Scatrut for Brazil. Whistle's gone. And the penalty against Russia. Santini again wastes no time. This time, players in support. Little chip and chase. Is there anyone back for Russia now? They're a little bit slow there. A little bit lax the days ago from the Russians, but aware to the danger was Petrova who got back there. Took her a second to realise the danger. Hamidova already has three tries to her name. Keeps that ball alive. Does so really well. And this is lovely little run from Kudinova. So Kudinova, can she get past Santini? Doesn't have the pace to beat her, so wisely comes back to keep the ball alive and keep possession handoff attempt three players lining up out wide for the Russians little show and Voronsova was who hit the ground back to Hamidova just taking her time little dummy from her can put her down, creates that space on the outside again for Kudinova. Now Kudinova sprints clear over the 22 and she is going to score this time. But that was created and made by the Russian number five, Hamidova. Brilliant stuff from her. Kudinova on the end of it and this game is over. And wonderful because they were so patient. There were about two rucks they formed. They kept possession. They pushed the passes nicely. And look at this, first the fend off. Goodbye to Campos, and then gets a lovely pass away. And you know, everybody knows the finishing power of the Russian captain easing over that try line. That makes it 13 tries so far for Russia, which is equal to Fijiana. Well, there you go. The two best attacking teams, and the conversion is good from Kudanova. He's had a brilliant day as well. So important to everything that Russia do, particularly in an attack, and her work rate, as Mel was saying. Really just have to sit back and admire it. Four minutes to go. Long way for Brazil. I'd like to see them just get some phases together, maybe introduce a couple of players off the bench. Taken this time by Estevez. Bit of support from her. Worked that blind side again towards the touchline. Almost dropped the elbow there into contact. Slow ball coming back once more, and well, Bauer struggled, but Russia have enough numbers in there to make it difficult illegally, so says the referee. And it was uh, Christina Seradina who was penalised on that occasion. Russia often attack at the tackle ball zone, as we see this kick not going out. I mean, if you're going to go up the line for touch, you have to find touch, give yourself a chance of the line out. Otherwise, you're just gifting possession right back to the opposition. And it is tiring making those tackles in sevens rugby. Santini, who's worked like a Trojan over the last while, and that's brilliant to fend off the first tackle. Can't get rid of the second one, though. And look at the Russians again, in and over the ball. Brilliant steal at the breakdown. Brazil off their feet, and rightly the referee awarding Russia the penalty there. Quick tap and go from Hamidova. Tries the handoff, puts her foot to the gas and sprints through try number four for her well amazing when you consider she didn't even make the starting team in the first two games absolutely well she's been a regular on the circuit since it started now four years ago now and uh, she loves a fiend that's one of her weapons and one of the reasons she's so effective in that is because she's got such long arms so just keeps the defender away from her legs and add to that the pace 
good finisher. Ban, get out of my way. I'm over. Fourth try of the day for Hamidova. Thirty-four points to nil. Russia in total control here. Kulinova launches the high restart. That's pitch perfect, really. Just dropping over the 10 meter line. Gives your teammates every chance to get up underneath the ball and contest possession. Brazil struggling to get it back. Quick tap and go from Seredina. Two to bring her down. Still on her feet, though. Brazil having to roll away, you can't stop that ball from coming back. Quick and tap and go for the captain. Kudinova's in again. Opportunistic pounce by the Russian. And she touches down underneath the post. This is an annihilation, really. Yeah, pouncing like a tigeress, isn't she? Just great appreciation of, of when you speed the game up, when you take the opportunities. Brazil under the pump big time there. No one was going to touch her. 41 points to nil. Look at this. Straight through. She is just a joy to watch. And a handful for any opposition defence, I can tell you. Absolutely relentless rush up. One of the Russian girls just tying her shoelace up there. Well, Russia's highest ever victory against Brazil was 42-5 in Atlanta last year. They're winning by 41 points here. So in terms of a winning margin, this is a record for them. If they were to get another try or another score, they'd surpass that total of 42. Very, very impressive from the Russians, as they have been from the opening game. And they might get another chance because they're going to have a scrum and we've 20 seconds left to play. I mean, would you put them out as a real threat now to go on this form to go and take this title? Look, day two's always a different kettle of fish because it's how you last. Mm. And, you know, some of these teams have put more out there on day one than others. I would suggest to you that Australia have rotated their bench. They're very aware of fatigue. New Zealand have rotated their team very well indeed. So it depends on who lasts on day two. Absolutely, nothing is won. Has now put it on day one. Russia keeping that ball alive. Good, strong running. Look at that. And equally, you'd have to say, lax tackling from the Brazilians. Can they hit the ground here? The hooter's gone. It should be held up. Well, I mean, how long do you want to give there? They get the scrum. And that is that. So Russia get the job done. Brazil leave the tool stages without a victory. And Kudanova, so, so impressive today. I know Hamidov will have the four tries to her name, but that number one from Russia right there. Everything that happens goes through her. And if you want to stop Russia, I suggest you take a look at her. Impressive stuff then. Russia 41, Brazil nil.